Hello everyone, this is the Crimson Cure, welcoming you to the Crimson Tower, a place where we keep a feminine foot on the neck of the gynocracy, feminism, and black male misandry. So go ahead, pull up a chair, stay a while, and listen. Hey y'all, Donnie Keith here, a.k.a. Auntie Peaches from the Auntie's Radio Show, also on The Voice of Reason. I'm here to say that ever since my man started taking A-game, he's been on top of his A-game. When I say A-game, I mean his A-game. He's more focused. He's definitely working out more. His attitude is better. And he's not complaining of all over body aches due to poor blood circulation. Because A-game provides great blood circulation. If you know what I mean, ladies. That blood circulation. Sometimes I have to hide the A-game in the bushes when I'm out walking the dog. Just because I want some sleep. (laughs) If you know what I mean, ladies. Stay on top of your A-game. Game, fellas, get your A game. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am your host, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about Monique is right about the bonnets. Full stop. She's right about the bonnets. A lot of women out here on these social media streets are still mad, still big mad at Monique about talking about values and or the lack thereof with these bonnets, pajamas, slippers, the whole works. I have, I can't tell you how many times I've seen our black women, younger and older, but it's really a lot of young ones that come outside dressed any old kind of way. It's gotten to the point where they'll dress up and have a bonnet for the outfit kind of like matching it up as if a bonnet is part of an outfit. It is not. It is a nightcap. It is there. It was designed for you to put that on your head as you go to sleep so your hair can hairstyle can be preserved. That is what bonnets are for. Pajamas are for sleeping in. These are house clothes. Okay, these are house clothes. These are not clothes that you would wear anywhere where you thought you wanted to have some respect. Or anywhere where you thought you couldn't get away with it. And before I really get into everything, let me just say this. I might go ahead and read this article because there are a lot of women who, a lot of comments that was really on a lot of BS. I want black women who disagree with Monique. But we get should get to wear what we want to wear and be comfortable and wear bonnets and why you shaming black women and blah, 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 blah. For those women who think like that, you wouldn't dare go in front of no white people with that bonnet on. If you had a job interview for a corporate position, there is no way in the world that you would go with a bonnet, slippers, and pajamas on. There is no way that you would go to an elegant dinner with bonnets, slippers, and house shoes on. And do you want to know why you would not do that thing? Is because you actually understand appearance value. And I'm going to have to ask y'all to do me one big old favor. Knock it off. We're trying to act like you don't understand what appearance value is. Like by trying to act like you don't understand that people's perception of you is a lot of times based on how you carrying yourself outside, what you look like, what you got on, how, how you're talking, how you're moving. Stop pretending like you don't know what that is or that that doesn't have any uh, play in society. That doesn't have any place because you do a bunch of judging yourself. Okay, you do a bunch of judging yourself. You judge books by their cover all the time. Everybody does because you have to. 
All right. If I walk down the street and I see somebody with a with a, a pointed white hood on, I got to assume a certain few a few things about this individual based on solely on what they have on. Then I have to assume a couple of things and then I have to move according to those assumptions because I'm likely to be right. And when we come outside as women showing up in the world with bonnets, house shoes, slippers, what we tell in the world is, I don't care about me, so you don't got to care about me. I don't have any values. I'm trash. I'm a bunch of trouble. If you talk to me, you're not going to get a rational explanation. If you, uh, if you say anything to me, I'm liable to blow up at you, cuss you out fight you or any of those things because that is the representation that you having of yourself to the world you're presenting yourself to the world as you don't care so why would somebody else care how they treat you or how they talk to you or how they deal with you you're not going to be able to be dealt with with respect and honor because you showing up in the world as though you have none and I don't know what the pushback is all about. I have no idea what the pushback is really about on Monique. And they tried to come for her. Well, you know, you made crude jokes and this and that, you know, uh, talking about the co comedic material that she used to do when she was doing stand up. And trying to come for her based on that and saying she's a hypocrite. That don't have nothing to do with the price of tea in China. She could have did whatever she wanted to do on that stage and still be right about these bonnets and still be right because she was on stage with her hair done. Whatever you thought about freeze curls. OK, back in the day, she had them and it was done. Whenever she showed up on that stage, she had clothes on. I can tell you that. But y'all women are coming out of here any old kind of way and it's a lot of the younger ones because they don't have no guidance from the older women they, they mamas is trash so they're not telling the young 16 17 20 year old girl, you cannot come outside like that baby you have to be presentable there are presentable clothes that are comfortable ain't nobody saying you gotta wear a full face of makeup heels and a and an evening gown every time you come out of the house but you need to be put together I don't care if you just run into the store around the corner or if you really headed out to run you some errands all around the city. You need to be somewhat, you need to be presentable as a woman. Whatever happened to pride as a woman? Whatever happened to the vanity of women? I thought y'all wanted to be queens. I thought y'all wanted to look good. I thought y'all was bad bees. There is no way in the world that we should be able to come outside looking like that and the world just got to accept it. But you don't want the world to accept it. You just want other black people, specifically black men, to accept that, to accept that I'm not going to I'm not going to even have the order in my life and the structure in my life that tells me my value system is so bad that I don't even value my appearance at all as a woman when I step outside my house door. Because that's what you're saying to the world. I don't care whatever else you think you're saying. What you're telling everybody is, I'm not worth anything. I'm a piece of trash as a woman. I am trash as a woman. I may not have even washed myself. That's what you really saying. Because if you ain't took off your night clothes, you ain't took no shower. Let's just be real about that. If you ain't took off your sleeping clothes, how I'm supposed to be confident you washed up today? That you hit soap and water today? That you brushed your teeth today because you surely didn't comb your head? You got on that same underwear you've been rocking for a good 48 hours. And I'm supposed to think you got pride? You sliding around outside in them house shoes, back of your feet, nasty. The bottom of your pajama pants, nasty, because it's scrubbing all around the ground. And you're going to go back in your house and walk through your floor and walk through your house with them same clothes on, them same house shoes on, them same dirty feet, and your same dirty body. 
that you thought it was okay to go all Walmart, you all in store shopping, and then don't want nobody to look at you crazy or don't want nobody to, to judge what's going on with you. And it's not realistic. You're going to be judged on how you present yourself. That's just the way of the world. And it's not going to change because you a black woman and you want to do what you want to do. Because all that you managing to do is make yourself look stupid. And all of these guys out here tweeting and ludicrous and all them people talking about, oh, you know, uh, these, so these queens can wear their bonnets. Them the same dudes that will never wipe you up. Them the same dudes that will only smash you at 3 a.m. and then don't tell nobody about it and won't call you until the next time he want to come do that. He'll come through your little nasty, junky, dirty house, come smash you on that little nasty mattress you got and leave up out of there. He'll never find no value in you because you don't find none in yourself. You're not worth the toll, the trouble, or the threat. All you're worth is the little time it takes for him to come get a little procreation out of you and then that's it. That's all you're worth because he has not deemed you worthy of anything else. And the reason he has not deemed you worthy of anything else because you didn't deem yourself worthy to even say when you got up out of bed this morning and you slid around the house for a minute and you had somewhere to go, you didn't say, let me take this stuff off, jump in the shower because I guarantee you if you jump in the shower, you're going to want to put some nice clean clothes on because you're clean. You're going to want to get yourself together because you got yourself together hygiene wise. See, that's where it comes from. That's where the judgment comes from because wearing that stuff means your hygiene is bad. What other conclusion you think pe people are supposed to come to? You rolled out of the house in your bed clothes. So that means you rolled out of the bed and you left. That's what that means. Because ain't no way in the world you rolled out of bed, brush your teeth, wash your face, comb your head, took a shower, grease yourself up, moisturize yourself, put some perfume on, put your deodorant on, and then you put some dirty bed clothes on? I don't believe it. You need more people. I don't believe that at all. And nobody else does either, and neither do you. Nobody believes that at all. You got the fact that you need somebody to come tell you since you look up to celebrities so much. The fact that you need somebody to come tell you don't come outside when you're not presentable. What happened to being a woman? This is what we're talking about. The lack of femininity along with the lack of values. Where's your self-respect? Where is it? You want to talk about black pride and you want to talk about black lives matter. Do your life matter enough for you to put on a pair of jeans and a shirt to come outside with? It can be jeans and a t-shirt with a little, with some sandals on or something like that. As long as you look put together. All we asking is look like you intended to come outside today and have the world look at you. That's all that she was saying. And for all of you gynocrats, male and female, like it was a bunch of maggles, there was something ain't nothing wrong with that, you know, and all that goofiness. It just shows the lack of value first that the women have for themselves, and the and the maggles they they prefer you that way because you easy to run through and and disregard. You remain easy to run through and disregard because you don't have any value. You don't have any self-respect. You don't have any self-esteem. You don't got no pride in yourself. No, no, no structure, no honor, no nothing. So maggles will get behind you and champion any chaos that you bring, foolish calls that you bring, because that maintains you in a state of foolishness so that you're easy to deal with. You don't got no standards, so he don't got to come with man. But that's only when he deal with you. That's only for you. Because when he go around other women that present, that present themselves with some type of 
of respect and dignity as a woman, he don't do that to her. And you wonder why you can't get no stable man that's worth something. Because you ain't nothing but trouble. And remember I told you trouble is part of your chaos, the level of chaos that a woman has. If you trifling enough to come outside dirty in your uh, dirty little bed clothes, you trifling and you chaotic. And no man that's worth the salt boy and bread want to deal with you on any long term kind of basis at all. Because he's seeing from the outward appearance, oh, she don't think nothing about herself. She don't think nothing about herself. She don't even take no pride in it. She ain't even trying to look good for herself. You ain't even trying to look good for yourself. We ain't even talk. We ain't even got to looking good for a man. What about waking up in the morning and saying, I look, when you look good, you feel good. What happened to that? Are you that depressed? Is it mental illness? Do you need a therapist? You need somebody? Don't show up at the therapist with your bonnet on. Comb your head. Have some type of pride and dignity about yourself as a woman. It's slovenly. It's sloppy. It shows that you don't value yourself. If you don't value the people around you that are affected by your appearance. I'm not going nowhere with you with that on. I don't want to be seen with you. I, I got on nice presentable clothes and you come wrecking out there. You want me to pick you up? We going to go somewhere. And you come walking out the house with that bonnet. I'm pulling off. Girl, why you leave? Because I'm not going nowhere with nobody with no bonnet on. Calling yourself, you my friend, and I'm with you. No, you're not going to bring my appearance value down because you don't care. So it's not just you being affected. You, you are representing all of black women. This is the appearance value that I'm talking about. You come outside. You come into, pub, into the public view. And then you don't want nobody to look at black women a certain way, but you keep presenting yourself a certain way. You either present yourself as this sloppy, uncaring individual, or you present yourself as a prostitute and a promiscuous woman, and you don't want nobody to say nothing about none of it. All of it is supposed to be okay. You reject every area of instance of anybody trying to present any type of value or order to you. Only thing Monique was saying, and she said it as nicely as she possibly could. She could not have put that any nicer. She couldn't have softballed you no more than what she did. She handled you with kid gloves. What more do you want? The thing about it is, you don't want nobody to say nothing to you about anything that you do. And this is why we're in the predicament that we are in as women because we don't want to hear nothing. You you lie and say, well, it ain't how you, it ain't about what you said, it's about how you say it, deliver the message. She couldn't have delivered that message softer than she did. And y'all still had a problem with that because it was it was a reprimand. It was an attempt to bring you into some type of order, and that's not what you want. You like the chaos. You like being trouble. This is why you mad at her. This is why you wanted to drag her through uh, social media and everybody want to do an interview about bonnets. You want to, that's a big discussion to y'all. That somebody told y'all to put some regular clothes on when you come outside. You do what you want to do in your house. We don't have a value system that's worth anything. And you don't want to adopt one. Appearance is number four on the, on the 10 life value chart. The appearance value. This is the part of your internal value system. It come right after family. How are you representing yourself and your family? You go up to the school dressed like that and then what you don't realize is that your children get roasted because your, your her, they mama came up looking like who done it and what for. So now your kid get talked about in school like a dog 
because of you. Your mom was dirty, man. She stunk. And she had on a dirty t-shirt, blah, blah, blah. She had on a bonnet. She ugly. That's your mama. And your kids got to endure that or try to defend you somehow. But it's really indefensible. And you don't care how nobody else is affected because you just want to do what you want to do. I'm grown. Well, be grown enough to know that you're supposed to put on regular clothes when you go outside. How about that? How about be grown enough to know how to dress when you uh, leave the house? Somebody got to tell you that now you want to be mad. Well, be mad then. I hope she buy a whole bunch of little cakes and send them to you so you can be super mad. I don't have no mercy, no mercy on that. Dress regular when you go outside. That's all anybody's asking. And to even get pushback on something like that is astounding. And it's saddening. And it's sickening. And the maggles out there that support it ought to be ashamed as well. Because you fu you fueling that foolishness. Uh-uh, see, he don't care. But this is why you're not getting no man to give you the four Ps. This is why you can't get provision and problem solving and protection and procreation from them in any type of proper manner. This is why you can't get it. This is why he only come through and give you a little procreation and he might Throw you a couple of dollars. You're not getting much else out of him. Because you're not worth it. You're not even worth it to you. So how are you supposed to be worth it to him? Or anybody for that matter. I have driven a lot of you women to work looking like just a whirlwind went through you. And it's a shame. That you come outside with your head uncombed. Hygiene questionable because I can kind of smell you. It's sad. Women should never be in that state. Coming out of a home in the modern day of America in year of our Lord 2021 with indoor plumbing and soap at the Dollar Tree. You can get soap at a Dollar Tree, soap in a towel. And I don't know of a structure of living quarters in America that does not have indoor plumbing, especially in the city. So anyway, I love to hear your comments about this in the comment section. Sound off. Let me know. Is Monique right about the bonnets or is she wrong about the bonnets? Is this about trying to shame black women or is this coming from a place of love and what about the guys that have been on social media supporting the whole bonnet thing and women's right to go outside looking like however they want what do you think about that we love to hear the comments so go ahead like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not once again my name is the crimson cure and this was my perspective bye bye crimsonites Hey guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.